Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. Today I want to play the Big Shot. I haven't done that in a while with the um, square lattice embossing folder. And I want to show you how to do a quick and dirty background. <laughs> Alright, so we start with our Sizzix Big Shot, the multi-purpose platform to tab one. I'm going to go ahead and insert this long, this flopping so it won't flop down. There we go. And so then our sandwich is a cutting plate on tab one. I have very vanilla cardstock. Put this in my texture folder. I'm lining up with the design because I wouldn't want it crooked. All right, and so put that, put this on the cutting plate. Put another cutting plate on top, and then we just crank it through. Three thousand pounds of pressure. And then we get this beautiful texture there. Can you see that if I turn it? Fantastic. Okay, so we know the texture is beautiful on its own, but what if you'd like to add color? Very easy to do. So let me get the big shot out of the way. And let's get stamping. So um, I am playing today with the Gently Falling stamp set from the Holiday Mini, the two-step love this set. I love fall leaves. And then we got the helicopter seeds. Just tickles me to no end. The acorns, that's not unusual. Beautiful. But the helicopter seeds, don't you love that? <laughs> and if you don't know, they go with maple trees. Anyway, so here we have our background and I wanted to create another card using this set. And I wanted to use, it's really easy for me to use the fall colors to just, I gravitate right towards, let's say, Cajun Craze, more mustard and old olive. Uh, okay, I'd like to use more mustard and old olive, but what color could I throw in there? Because remember last year we had designer paper that they used elegant eggplant, and I thought, what? And then fell in love with it. And then this year in the spice cake paper, they have thrown in um, pool party, and I really thought, what? But no, give it a chance. And so what I did, I got my color coach to look for another color other than my Cajun craze, and look, You've seen the color coach, right? You just go to the swatch that you want and they give you suggestions. And Bravo Burgundy. And I thought, oh, that'll be nice. A little bit different, but not crazy off the wall. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with <clears throat> my old olive. And I have stamping sponges that I've cut into quarters. Open up our pan. When sponging, I like to pinch like this so I have a nice rounded area. You don't want to catch a flat edge. That's not pretty. So ink this up, and then I'm just going to start adding color. And look at how this design just starts popping out at you. Isn't that pretty? So you can go as light or as dark as you like. And then I'm going to take my Bravo Burgundy and another quarter sponge. Ink this up and start throwing in some color. Look how easy this is, but isn't this just stunning? All right, and then from our color coach, our more mustard. So you could fill in all of it. You could leave some white space. I just, ugh. Oh. And every one you do, I need to make several of these, every one you do will be completely different because, you know, it's handmade. All right. So there you go. Isn't that quick? And I say dirty because you're probably going to get ink on your hands. Can't help it. <laughs> and, but quick and colorful and pretty. Let me show you um, the card I, I made. And uh, I did the two-stepping. You know what? I also sponged color. I did more mustard and old olive right on to the solid stamp and then did the outline stamp over top of it in the Bravo Burgundy. Didn't that turn out pretty? A simple card. Uh, my little greeting is from Fabulous Phrases. So a, a nice pretty fall color, quick and dirty textured background. Hey, if you enjoy learning stamping tips, you'll want to go to my website, stampingsmiles.com. In the upper left corner, you will find the sign-up box to join my mailing list. Every month, I personally write three stamping articles with tips, techniques, and or tutorials. And uh, it's absolutely free. And But the only way to get that is to be on my mailing list. So go to stampingsmiles.com 
in the upper left corner, find up that mailing list box, you will receive an email to confirm your subscription. They want to make sure that it was you and you really want to be on there. And of course you do. Who doesn't want free stamping tips? So I am looking forward to seeing you on my mailing list. Gently Falling Stamp Set from the Holiday Mini Catalog. Thanks for watching.